Here's a quick guide on how to use mouse and keyboard on the PS5. There are two ways to do this, and first is the most obvious, and that's for games like Fortnite and a few others that actually support mouse and keyboard. Literally all you need to do is plug the mouse and keyboard into the console and just simply customize the settings inside of the game if you want to change them. But I'm sure you all want to know how to use mouse and keyboard for unsupported games. So let's go ahead and talk about that now. If you're looking to do this in single player games and learn how to use mouse and keyboard because you want to practice before making the swap over to PC or for other reasons that are just obvious and I do not personally support, you are either going to need the Zim Apex, the Zim 4, or the IO Gear Keymander adapter, which I will put links to in the description below. The Zim 4 sells out very, very quickly, so if that is not in stock, the other ones will do fine. There isn't any need for me to explain how to use the Zim 4, the Zim Apex, or the IO Gear Keymander because anybody with common sense can figure it out. Not only that, they come with directions that you can follow. So taking 20 seconds to look at the directions that they come with versus watching a 10 minute video that you're going to have to put on repeat 20 times, in my mind, is just the better option. Personally, I used the Zim 4 but the Iogear Keymander is also very highly supported in the gaming community as well. As far as the keyboard and mice that I'm going to recommend to everybody watching this, please note that everybody has a different budget and of course links to everything will be down in the description below. So I'm just going to go over 5 of the best keyboards and then 5 of the best mice in different price ranges. First is the $35 Redragon K55 II mechanical gaming keyboard and if you want a black version, they do have that, that is $30. They're both the exact same thing, just in different colors. These are great budget keyboards. The second is the Razer Sinosa Chroma gaming keyboard which is currently $40 but normally cost $60. Third is the $75 Corsair k55 rgb pro bundle that comes with both a mouse and a keyboard and then fourth is the keyboard that i own personally and that's the 130 dollars logitech g pro mechanical gaming keyboard logitech is an amazing company that i fully support and out of all of these is the one that i would recommend there is eight different options of this keyboard that you can choose from and I do apologize if you hear the door slamming, I cannot control that. And fifth is one of the best keyboards out there, the $200 Razer Huntsman V2 Optical Gaming Keyboard. As far as the mice go, again, budget all depends. First is the Razer Death Adder, which is $22 now, but normally cost $50 when it is not on sale. Second is the Logitech G502, which is $40 right now, but normally cost $80 when it isn't on sale. Third is the $30 Logitech G203. Fourth is the $18 Redragon M602. And then fifth is the Glorious model, which is the one that I own personally and costs $65 right now, but normally cost $85 again when it is not on sale. Again, the links to everything will be down in the description if you want a better gaming mouse or keyboard and or need one of the adapters for the unsupported games in order to use a mouse and keyboard on the PS5. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. Quick mention, I do have a second channel. And again, I do apologize for the door slams throughout the video. I literally cannot control that. But yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.